The merge is finally upon us. Profitability, as you know, has plummeted, and so as I powered off my rig for what may be the last time, I couldn't help but feel saddened by a journey's end. All right, boys, today you guys can see we got brand new graphics cards. But as they say, every end brings a brand new beginning, I, I think. So does that mean it's time to shut off our rigs? Maybe not. Maybe there is still hope. So starting off, we have to visit what to mine and check what is profitable. Obviously, most coins are not profitable to mine. However, maybe mining is still a cheaper method of accumulating coins compared to purchasing them straight up. Now, in order to do this, I will be mining Raven coin for the next 24 hours just to see how much RVN we actually get. See you guys in 24 hours. Right, so it's been 24 hours and here are the results. With mining, we could get 5.24 Raven coins per day roughly, assuming all my GPUs were mining on it. However, if we took the cost of electricity, which is around $39 a month, to keep the rig on and just use that money to purchase Raven coin instead, we would actually get around 32.5 Raven coins per day. Which means, sadly, that mining is no longer worth doing right now, at least not for Raven coin. So what's the plan now? Well guys, I will be shutting down my rig despite having some coins that are profitable to still mine. Now my reasoning behind shutting off besides, you know, not being profitable is simply because the coins that are profitable to mine, well, they are coins that I'm not very familiar with and I'm kind of skeptical about them. As well guys, the profitability will constantly be changing, meaning you guys will constantly have to monitor your mining rig as well as swap the coins that you are mining. So all that hassle for like barely any profits, I just don't see it being worth it at the moment. Now I went ahead and actually ran some numbers just to see what our situation is looking like. So as you may know, I have not reached ROI just yet. Now taking a look here, you guys can see that the total expenses is roughly around $5,325. Now on our asset side of things, we have three categories, cash, equipment, and cryptos. So we sold some ETH previously for around $374.31. As well, we have around $2,500 worth of equipment at current market prices. Of course, lastly, we have roughly around 0.57 ETH, and around 0.0156 Bitcoin, which is currently valued at around $1,044.85 during this recording. That means we'll be taking a fat L of $1,400 if we were to sell everything right now. But you guys know I'm not about to accept that and you guys shouldn't either. So this is what I would do to at least break even and something you might actually wanna consider for yourself. So as you may or may not know, the new 40 series GPU launch has been a flop so far as it is said to be way overpriced and has many other flaws. So how exactly does that help us? Well, that means we get a little bit more time to unload our 30 series cards and a few other cards at relatively fair prices. So I most likely will be taking advantage of this and making sure I sell off all my GPUs before they're further devalued. As for the cryptos, I will be holding those until the next bull mark. Now, assuming that ETH does get back to its all-time highs again of around 4,000 USD and Bitcoin at around 60,000 USD, obviously not right away in the coming years, selling at those prices would actually produce around $4,244 Canadian. That would put us at roughly around $1,800 in profit. Now, yes, that is somewhat hopeful thinking, but guys, in the meantime, to reduce losses, what I might look into doing is actually purchasing a PC case and just a PC case alone. That way we can go ahead and actually use the parts from the miner and build out a gaming PC out of it, which may actually sell for more than the parts alone. So I began listing the GPUs on Instagram and Kijiji. Now I want to go ahead and actually start by selling locally simply because I don't want to be paying shipping fees and also it's a lot less packaging to do. So remember what I said about mining earlier? Maybe there is still hope. While there technically is still a chance of a new profitable coin coming out, however, in my opinion, my equipment currently would become dated by then. So it's probably best just to sell out now and wait and see. Still waiting. 